welcome back to my channel and to what is going to be a haul video. Um, I did do a haul fairly recently of some stuff that I'd been hoarding for a while. Like I'm talking like six to 12 months from like last year through to early this year. But this particular haul is actually a haul of some items that I've bought, bought from some stores this year that has like I've just had it sitting like on a table waiting to haul it. There's a bunch of kits here that I want to put away. There's some overlay tapes, some washi tapes. There's just a bunch of fun things here. And I really, really wanted to haul them so that I could put them away and actually start using them. Because I'm getting to that point where when I'm doing my week to week planning, I'm getting low on kits for particular occasions and things like that. And I'm like, well, I can't use those ones because I haven't put them away yet. Um... So I really, really wanted to do this haul for you guys. So as you can see, I've got a box of goodies here. I've got a pile of goodies over here. Um, so let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so the first item that I'm going to show you guys, or the first order that I'm going to show you guys, is this order from Pretty Planner Studio. Just because it's in a box, it's going to probably be easier to keep it in the box. Um, well, to an extent. I might move it in just a second, but we will see. Um, so it's basically a bunch of washi tape, uh, sorry, overlay tapes. I have been lacking in the bougie box area, the foil area, and I figured that the best way to go about topping that up would be to get some um, overlay or the underlay tapes, whatever you'd like to call them. So first thing that I got was a little handwritten note from Pretty Planner Studio. And then we get this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, journaling card. So it's Happy Mail makes me happy, just plain on the back there, so you can obviously pop it into anything, pop it in as a divider, whatever you would like. And then we got a little bag of freebies too, so let me have a look at those, let me slide them out of their little baggie, because there's a couple of little things here. Alright, so, what have we got? So the first little freebie that we get is what looks like it kind of reminds me of like a polaroid frame so like you can there you go very cute i also then got like a little thank you for your order sampler so it looks like a birthday sampler actually did i purchase this during a birthday sale i don't know but you've got like a little full box there you've got a little martini glass a cake and a gift perfect because it's actually july 5th and yesterday was my birthday so it's kind of like happy birthday to me <laughs> and then you also get a second sampler freebie so this is more like under the sea themed you've got a full box here you've got some cute little character icon decorative stickers there and a little key super super cute and then you also get this so this is a like thank you for your order and this is a fold over sticker. So you can fold that over so you've got essentially like an extender box. Um, and then you've got the little toilet roll that says when will this crap end? And the little bubbles that say wash your hands. And I really wish we knew when this crap would end because being in New South Wales at the moment, we are in lockdown and there is no toilet paper. There is no basic essentials. It is a great time. Anywho, this is a little sneak peek of my goodie bag. So I'm going to grab the tapes out, bring them back and move this box out of the way because this box is taking up my whole screen. Okay, so we are back. Now, I'm not going to unroll the tapes because they're all actually wrapped with the exception of one or two that I've actually used already. So the first tape that I'm going to show you is a, uh, it's a Harry Potter hollow foil header overlay. So I don't know if you can, you probably can't see the design there, but essentially it's the, um, What's it called? The like Deathly Hallows. What's it called? It's like the triangle with the like circle in it, um, which I thought would be really cool to bring into my Harry Potter spreads. Although, funnily enough, I've done my only Harry Potter spread for the year already, so that's annoying that I have it now. <laughs> but what do you do? Um, I'm just gonna do them in order. So do I have? I don't have any other headers. Okay, so then I've also gone ahead and picked up some bottom washi uh, overlay tapes. So there's a combination here. So these are the three that I've picked up. So you can see you've got like a hot gold, the rose gold, and then like a, I don't know if it's like a, I think they're meant to be the same color, but because it's a different foil type, they look different, but essentially that is gold as well. 
Um, so this particular one here is like a twinkle star type washi overlay, as is the one below it. So they are actually the same, just that obviously one is rose gold and one is gold. And then the one at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, is just like a confetti speckle, just a regular like dot, polka dot, confetti type um, overlay. So you have that one. So they basically, if you've got a thicker washi or if you want to like lay down your washi and then just like roll it over the top, which I actually did in my latest plan with me. Where's my spread? I'll show you. So in my latest plan with me, I used the rose gold one. And if you have a look here, you will see that it's overlaid like as a double. So you can put it over the top of both of your like washi strips there which i think looks very nice so there's those okay and now this is where it's going to get fun because i've just got a whole bunch of things here oh sorry i left out i got a hollow washi overlay as well so that's in the like star pattern whoops so yes now everything is pretty much a mismatch i've got a couple of the same things a couple of different things i don't really know what is what to be honest um so let's just kind of start going through them i guess um so these are the full box overlay tapes and or the like bougie box underlay tapes depending on how you wanted to use them so the first one that i picked up here is the hollow confetti foil so you've got the confetti on the top and the bottom of the tape and it's just the same all the way around so it's not alternated boxes or anything like that it is top and bottom the whole way around the tape is the same the whole way through so there is that one <coughs> um i've then picked up so this is a bit more of a traditional um like a bougie box type underlay so this is a hollow foil. This is just, again, a confetti pattern. Again, it is the same the whole way through. So every piece of tape is the same. Really, really pretty, really handy to have. I'm actually bummed because when I went to buy these, um, Pretty Planner Studio was actually having a sale on them. But when I tried to check out with like, for example, I would have wanted to get this in the rose gold, the gold, uh, and the silver as well but a lot of them were sold out so I just essentially grabbed what I could so in this particular formatting I think just having a look here this is actually the only one that I could get oh no I got I lied okay so I got that and then I got two of the gold because I use a lot of gold tape and I figure like with Christmas literally just around the corner I mean it's July and Christmas, like December, still seems like a long, long way away. But I mean, I was saying that July was a long time away in January. And that feels like it was a blink of an eye ago. So picked up the gold as well. And again, they're just the same the whole way through in that confetti style. Um, okay, so next, I'm just trying to look to see if I have any of the same patterns. Because then I can kind of like knock them out together. Um, okay, so the next one I've got is a rose gold tape. Now, I don't know why. It is actually a lot thicker than the rest of the, the tapes that I've bought. I'm not going to complain about that, though. So this one is a rose gold, and this is just a, like, single frame. Um, so it's just like a um, rectangular frame situation. And again, not alternated. It is just a singular frame throughout, which I'm completely fine with because I find that when I do overlays, a lot of the time I gravitate just to the simplistic rectangles. Um, I occasionally use the confettis and the stars and the patterns and things like that, depending on the spread that I'm doing. But I don't use too much rose gold as it is. So I figured if I had something like this, it would be fine because that way I've got something simplistic and I can just pull it in wherever I need it. Or if I'm doing a spread and I've got, you know, patent um, overlay tapes, but I'm missing one or two and I ran out and I don't know what else to use, I can just pull these in. So I thought this was really handy to have. Again, I wish it was available in the rest of the foil colors, but alas, I've just picked up what I could get. So there's that one. Let me have a sip of coffee because I just made a fresh coffee to sit down and do this. See, it's like full almost. But I'm going to get carried away talking about all this fun stuff and I'm not going to drink it. Okay, so let's go for... 
I'm just, again, just looking to see if I've got any others. Are these the same? No. Those are the same. Okay, so then the next one that I've picked up or the next like pattern that I've picked up, these are an overlay. I mean, you could use them as a bougie, but I guess the way that the pattern is, it's like a top and a bottom and they're the like whimsical bow designs. So I don't know if you can see, but if you look very closely, there's like the confetti and like every so often you'll see like a little bow there. Um, so it's like the whimsical confetti bow type tape. And again, these are the only two colors that they had available, the only two foils. So I picked up the rose gold and I picked up the gold. And again, it's the same design the whole way through the tape. Nothing changes. It just stays as is. But again, very, very, very handy to have when you are doing spreads. And I've noticed that I'm using a lot of the bougie boxes, but I'm also, I've really been enjoying bringing a foil back into my spreads. Um... So I figure that having a lot of these tapes isn't going to be the worst thing in the world. So that is those two. Um, what else have I got here? Okay, so this one is, the next one that I've got is like a confetti top and bottom again. So this is in the hollow foil. So as you can see, you've got the confetti on the top and the bottom and you've got like the gap in the middle. Again, same all the way throughout. I should just preface the rest of the like, haul for these tapes as they're the same the whole way through like they don't alternate it's the same pattern for the whole tape but we have that one that is the only color foil that i got that particular one in um we then have okay so i got a few of these apparently i wanted to Mm, okay, I'm, I'm a weirdo, but it is what it is. So the next one that I've got is, again, very similar to the one that I just showed you, except that it is like a star twinkle type pattern. So I got four of those. So I've got here the regular hollow, then I've got like a pixie dust or like a glitter hollow, and then two of the gold, again, because I use gold the most. Um, and you'll see that there's like the star confetti, so it's like twinkly and confetti the whole way throughout. So again, you've got that really strong prominent pattern at the top and the strong prominent, prominent, oh my goodness, at the bottom. And then you've just got like a speckle throughout. So if you whack that on top of a full box, you'll get that little subtle sparkle in the middle, but it will frame the sticker as well. So I got those. And then I think we're getting to that point where... So again, I've done the same thing here, but for some reason, it looks as though I've gotten, hang on. Oh no, okay, I've been a little bit more clever with this particular one. So this one, again, very similar to the previous two in its design. So again, you've got that like, oop, you've got the prominent line at the top and the prominent line at the bottom and then a, like a scatter or a sprinkle. Of confetti in the middle so in this design i've grabbed the rose gold times two i have grabbed a hollow just a singular hollow and then i've grabbed two of the silver as well i'm pretty sure when i did this order i all but cleaned out pretty planner studio of their overlay tapes there's probably still a few left and i don't know if she's going to be restocking them in store but, you know, <laughs> I bought them all. So. And then the last one that I have here is a gold and it is a bow star confetti. It's actually really, really pretty. So I don't know how well you can see the design on camera, but you've got the confetti, you've got the bows there, and then you've got the star. So again, you've got that like prominent pattern top and bottom and then a sprinkling in the middle there, which is really, really pretty. So those are all of my overlay tapes. That is my purchase from Pretty Platter Studio. Okay, so on to our next purchase. So our next purchase is a store that I've bought from many, many, many years ago when I first started planning. And it's one of those stores that because of the shipping rate and whatnot, I haven't been back, not because I didn't love their stuff, but just because it was one of those things where if you were going to buy something from this store, you want to make the... Uh, 
Gouda. <laughs> you want to make the order worthwhile because the shipping is quite expensive. So the store that I'm talking about is Simply Water Color Co. So we did get a bunch of freebies. So the first thing that we got is we got this cute little like sampler thank you freebie. So you've got some beautiful watercolor rainbow like deco pieces here. So you've got your coffee cup, laptop, some mail, a cloud, a car, telephone, a washi strip and a little bow. They are adorable. I love that washi strip because you could like put it in the corner of a box and make it look like it's like tacked on there. So that's really pretty love that let me just move i've still got all these tapes to the side here so i just move those out of the way i then also got um some of her like bow clips so again you've got that like watercolor pattern um and then you've got that gold foil which is stunning and then i also got this freebie which is a foiled it's like a disney sparkle freebie so I guess depending on how you use your like decorative foils and whatnot, it is in gold. You can use it like the top of your spread. You can use it within your spread. You can add it to some full boxes for some extra bling. But that is really, really fun. I love that. I'm sure I will use that when I eventually catch up on my current spreads <laughs> and go back to my Disney spreads one day. Okay, so from Simply Watercolor Co, I got a bunch of kits because again, I... I went through all of my kits and I sorted them into seasons. Sammy plans will be very, very happy with me because I've been meaning to do that for the longest time. Um, and I went through all of my kits, sorted them by season, worked out like where I'm lacking. And then, well, I mean, this particular order wasn't about where I'm lacking. It was actually like, those are really cute. I want those. So the first kit that I purchased, and again, I'm kind of annoyed that when I get things via Happy Mail, I like leave them aside. Like I feel like I need to make time to haul them straight away. But at the same time, if you don't have enough to haul, it's kind of worth worthless, no point. I don't know. But it seems pointless to haul something if you've only bought like three things. So I just filmed a Slytherin week recently. I'm not sure if you will see this haul before it goes up or after. But I was deciding between two different kits for my Slytherin week because I only generally do one Harry Potter spread per year. And in this particular instance, I used an old kit, which I guess is fine. And I can use this kit that I'm about to show you next year if I need to. But I'm kind of annoyed that it was sitting in the woodwork because it is such a stunning kit. And it's kind of like a perfect balance between like feminine, Harry Potter and just beautiful. So... This is the kit. Let me just zoom you back out a little bit. Okay, so this is the gorgeous Slytherin kit. Now, the one thing that I have noticed is that the boxes seem to be smaller than a lot of boxes that I would usually use in my Erin Condor. I mean, look, that's not the worst thing because when you've got a busy week, you need that extra room. And like you whack your header on it, it's fine. I don't care. It's beautiful. But yeah, I do feel like they're a lot smaller than a lot of other stores would make. I did go and check because I thought that maybe I bought the wrong format. And look, maybe I still did. But the way that I read the listing, this was a normal weekly kit. So I don't know. You watch like I've, I've probably bought like a horizontal kit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Still going to use it. It's stunning. So as you'll see, what I mean by the whole like Slytherin kit, you've obviously got like your Slytherin logo. You've got like a little snake here. And then you've just got some twinkly You've got like the nods to Slytherin, but it's also kind of neutral in that like if you didn't want to, you could like leave that out and just, you know what I mean. <laughs> but I just think the purple, the silver, that smoky gray color, the green, absolutely beautiful. So these are your full boxes. And then you've got some, are they third boxes? So you've got like the third boxes here and then you've got like the quarter boxes. So this is more like a washi strip. You could use that as a box or a washi strip, but you could definitely use that functionally as well. And then, like I said, you've got that beautiful, beautiful foiling throughout. Okay, now this is more of a functional page. So you've got your date headers there again with that silver foiling. You've got some of the functional squares, some functional uh, half boxes, quarter boxes, page flags and then I'm assuming I mean this is a decorative piece but I mean you could use this as like a top washi piece as well and just cut one down to size but of course that is up to you and how you plan 
You then have here some bow headers, some icons. You've got some more like quarter boxes, some like layering type items here. So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but they're like little decorative circles. And then you've got the little decorative page flags up the top. And then you've got some more uh, like half boxes. You've got some corners. Uh, I don't know what that, oh, there's their corners as well. And then those are some decorative flags as well. So it's a very decorative kit. And I know that layering is a big thing at the moment. So this works well for that. And then again, you've got some more functional boxes. You've got some more like layering type pieces. So there's a bunch that you could do with this kit. And then you've got some plain like header sized um, strips here, or you could use them as little things. Again, we have another layering page. Like this is, wow. Um, some more headers. You've got some like scalloped, like mandala type things. I don't know what you call them. Some more like layering circles over here. Some functional type boxes. I told you this, this kit was stunning, you guys. And then we've got the non foiled section. So again, you've got some more functional boxes, habit trackers. You've got your washi strips. You've got the weekly tracker. You've got a checklist. Another box there, some foiled, foiled, some floral decorative layering pieces. And then we are back to the start. So that is kit number one. I'm absolutely obsessed. Kit number two, this, I mean, look, I don't know when I'm going to use it. I will probably use it for like my brother's birthday or my husband's birthday or like a kid's birthday somewhere. But when I saw it, I had to have it. This is like such a like, this was my childhood. It's Pokemon and it's foiled and it's so much fun. So Charmander is actually my favorite Pokemon of all time. I don't know why I just gravitated towards Charmander. Like the minute I saw them, I was like, that's my Pokemon. Um, I don't, it would kind of be fitting if there was a Squirtle box on here. Because I feel like you've got like your mains there. So you need Squirtle. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this one is in a gold foil. So you can see Char's tail and you've got the Thunderbolts here and the vines. And then you've got a little jiggly puff here. Um, and then you've obviously got some other functional type boxes as well. Now, naturally, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's the same format. So I'm just going to kind of flick through it. So those are your full boxes, your date headers. And I love this like pastel rainbow vibe. It is amazing. Your headers, your washi strips, you've got your page flags, functional boxes, headers, some more headers, some layering pieces and functional boxes and your icons, of course. You've then got some more functional items with that gold. And it's like a hot gold. So it's not a pale gold or a light gold, whatever you want to call it. It is definitely a hot gold. More functional items. That I like that box pla placement. I don't know if that was intentional, you guys. But, like, look at that, right? So if you look at Pikachu, like, Pikachu is wearing sunnies. Like, I love that. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has noticed that or if it's just me because I'm a weirdo. But um, And then you've got your non-foiled final page there with more functional type items and washi love that kit I actually love all of these kits there's just it's such a like childhood like I don't know how to describe it but I love it the next kit that I picked up is this gorgeous monsters ink inspired kit and I don't know if you guys have seen it yet but by the time this goes up I recently uploaded a husband takeover plan with me which was his birthday for September last year or 2020 um, and he actually did the plan over plan over he actually did the plan well he did the plans for that week because he took over the spread for the week. So hence the husband takeover, I guess, which is self-explanatory. Um, and he used a Monsters Inc. kit. He picked that. I purchased it for him for his birthday week and he picked that. So when I saw this, I thought I would pick this up as well because obviously he has a birthday every year um, and he may want to use this. Oh, he might choose the Pokemon one this year. I don't know. But I feel like between these two kits, this is going to be like he will make a choice out of that one or this one. <laughs> 
but this is very typical Monsters Inc. Whereas the one that he just used is um, the Monsters University one. So you've got your like OG characters here. You've obviously got Mike and Sully and Boo. I, I forget his name. But yes. And again, you've got those pops of florals as well. So you can kind of use it as like a feminine foily fun kit. You can use it for like a, someone you know's birthday, a kid's party, like so so many options and again it is in that same format so i'm just going to go ahead and flick on through so pretty and this one has the silver foil as well again i love the colors that just like the pops of green obviously mike is green so that makes sense but like i feel like normally i wouldn't gravitate towards kits that have green in them like i never buy green washi tape i don't look that at kits that are green unless of course it's a slytherin kit but I actually really, really love the colorway of this kit. And there's so many layering pieces. I need to like teach myself how to layer better because I feel like I don't really have it down pat. And I feel like I don't do enough white space to layer effectively. But maybe with these kits, this will be something that forces me out of my comfort zone again. I know that some of you guys that have watched for a while always want me to do more white space spreads. So maybe, just maybe, with these kits, you'll have your wish. But that is the Monsters Inc. kit. And then the final kit that I got from Simply Watercolor Co. has to be my favorite because of what it is. Any guesses? If you have, if you know or you think you know what this kit is, pause, drop it in the comments below. Let me know that you are still here and still watching. And let me know what you think this spread or this kit is. And while you do that, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee give you a couple of seconds you can look at this beautiful white boring background <laughs> i need to get some like mats or something but that's a problem for another day <laughs> all right so now that you've taken your guess and i've taken my sips of coffee ta -da! so if you're a guest lilo and stitch or stitch you would be correct because this is the most gorgeous beautiful hawaiian lilo and stitch disney floral foiled kit i have ever seen naturally i can't use it until summer because it is obviously very summer vibes being hawaii but here we are so we've got my little boy here love stitch stitch is like my favorite 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 disney character for anyone who doesn't know um and then you've got your cute little quote box here which is ohana means family and family means nobody gets left behind anyway stop melissa we don't need to start quoting the movies um so these are your full boxes so this one has the gold foiling beautiful 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 so again disney-esque holiday-esque party children numerous ways that you could use this kit i'm gonna use it in summer sometime don't know when it might not even get used until my planner for next year but we will see so again those are your full boxes you then have this beautiful beautiful page here i just that that's a header but like it would be so tempting to lay the headers down and use it as a box because it is stunning wash your strips your functionals page more functional fun things even more i just love the colorway like it's beautiful like the the sunsets the palms these look like you know sunsets or sunrises and then you've got your like plain page so again you could like layer some foil over here if you wanted to um and then obviously some functional type items there but that that was my order from Simply Watercolor Co. I'm about to hiccup. The next item that I have to show you is the latest mystery kit from Scribble Prince Co. So for anyone who doesn't know or for anyone who may be watching this as their first ever haul on my channel, um, I am currently subscribed to the Scribble Prince Co. mystery kit, which basically means I pay a set amount per month um, it is automatically deducted from my account and then a kit, a mystery kit. So I, you don't get a peek of it. Well, no, you do get a peek of it on her YouTube channel, but she um, 
picks it after everyone's orders have been sent out. So you don't know what you're getting until after it's already on its way. And you do get them shipped to your door every single month until you unsubscribe. So this is my May 2021 mystery. For anyone who hasn't seen it, if you want to see an example of what the other mystery kits were, I did recently upload a Scribble Prints Co. mystery kit haul to catch you guys up on all of the kits that I'd hoarded um, during sort of the last six to eight months uh, with this whole COVID pandemic and me not being planning and all that sort of stuff. Um, and we are now up to date and this is my next kit. So yes, it is Scribble Prints Co. I just said it, but I realized I hadn't actually said it was Scribble Prints Co. Um, so the mystery kit subscription that I have is for Scribble Prints Co. And as I mentioned, this is the May mystery. Now, for me, again, this particular kit is going to have to go away in my stash until summer because it is actually winter for us here in Australia. So obviously I'm not going to use anything bright, fun and colourful like this until summertime. But can we talk about the colours of this kit? It is stunning. The like magenta with the teal, with the orange, the pops of yellow, like that pool water. It's not that like traditional like pale blue. I absolutely love it. And like this little like smorgasbord of like hot dogs. Love, love, love. I think these works, these colors work together so, so well. So those are your full boxes. You've then got like a tall box scene, which is really cute. And again, these colors. I adore these colors. I've noticed that these colors are very popular at the moment and I'm living for it, I'm not complaining. So again, with this page, this is more of a functional page. So you've got some checklists, square boxes, half boxes. You've then got your work labels, some of the weekly trackers, some deco pieces, your weekend banner. Fun fact, I never knew, I think it was on Emma, Emma K Plans' channel. I never actually realized that when you get a wheel with your mystery kit, you can actually layer the foil over the weekend banner. I either used one or the other. So there you go. If you didn't know that, let me know in the comments below. I learned that from MK Plans. I don't know if I'll do it because I don't know if I have the patience to do that. <laughs> but there you go. You then have again, like, look at these headers. Oh my God. You then have your glitter headers. You've got some headers, habit trackers, movie marquees, and mini checklists. And then this, everyone is moving towards the layering thing because layering is obviously a huge thing in the planner community at the moment. So you've got your icons, you've got some layering pieces, and then again, you've got some functional boxes. So you've got quarter boxes and half boxes here. You then get, this is probably my favorite page of the kit because I feel like I just use this all the time. And I really, really, really love that the little things, little things, little things no longer have the icons. So you can essentially lay out whatever you want you can put your little icon here and it doesn't matter like there's no obligation to use it as like a meals thing or like a tv or anything like that so really really love that and then your next page is the same just that it is the patterned variety so you've got your boxes here you've got your little things here and then you've got the washi strips in between but i tend to use them as like boxes a lot of the time i i tend to not use them as washi whatever <laughs> Um, then you've got your washi page. So you've actually got your date headers here, your washi. So this is a double, which is fine if you want to use it that way. But you also do get like the 15 millimeter. So you can cut it in half and have like the two separate strips. And then you've got like a functional box here. This is a good if you ever want to bring in a quote box and you don't want to layer it over any of the art. Um, so yes, that is that. And then you get even more boxes on the last page. So you've got some extra little things, more functional boxes, and you have two different varieties of the full boxes there so that you can choose the skin tone that you'd like, the hair color that you'd like, which I really, really love about these kits. And then again, you actually get even more options. So you get two separate boxes and then you've got another option of the different skin tones and hair colors. You've got some more boxes and then you've got your 15 millimeter washi here. And I have to say, Andrea, I'm a living for this kit format. The fact that there's no extra little pieces that I have to keep together. It's all just like one like neat little pile. I actually love that. Like I'm not like my little things are falling everywhere. Like I love, 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 love this format. Now, in addition to the mystery kit, you actually get 
if you opt for it. I don't know if it's an option. I know that when I signed up, it was an option to get the foil added on, but you can just get the kit, I believe, or at least at that point you could. Um, but I have the foiled option as well. So with the kit, you also get the wiggle. So with the wiggle, you get some header piece, header overlays over here. You've got some full box overlays and I'm just sort of holding it at a tilt there because I want you to see it's like a gorgeous, gorgeous orange foil, which I love, which really excites me because I'm actually trying to do more spreads with fun um, foil colors. Like I obviously use gold, silver, rose gold, occasionally hollow, but I never use fun foils. So I'm really, really trying to do that this year. So that is page one. You then get page two, which is the same, so that you've got enough overlays for all of your boxes, enough headers for all of your headers. Then, because Andrea is the best. Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. I don't know. Depends, I guess. <laughs> um, but you do get your bougie boxes as well. So you can put those underneath your spread should you wish to. Obviously, you don't have to. Um, but you also get two pages of those to make sure that you've got enough for all of your spread. Then you also get the scripts and the icons. So again, these scripts are just her like bestsellers or most popular. You get your weekend banner and then you get your icons. And again, they are all in that beautiful orange foil. And it's kind of like a glitter. Like it's a, I don't know if you can tell, like, Oh yeah, you can tell on the icons, it's like glittery. I keep wanting to say Fanta. But yeah, so that you can bring that colour through the kit. And then the last page that you get is of course the washi. So you've got the two options of the washi. You've got the full stars or you've got the like sprinkled confetti stars. Um, you've got some like, where are they? Headers. Yep, so you've got headers, you've got some decorative pieces and you've got your date dots as well. So that is really fun. I actually really love that kit. Beautiful. And the final order that I have for you guys today. Oh my God, goodness me. Wait, nope. Let's do a quick rewind because I forgot with my Simply Watercolor Co order, I actually ordered some washi tape. So let me quickly show you that. So this is from Simply Watercolor Co as well. So I picked up an overlay tape. So it's a confetti, uh, not a confetti, it's a hollow foil. Um, you've got like moons and stars there. And again, it's that idea of the like prominent top and bottom patterns with like that sprinkling through the middle. And it is the same the, th the way through. Very, very pretty. And then I also picked up the like Disney inspired washi. So you've got the two different washi sizes. You've got like the a header size, I guess you'd call it. And it's got the little Mickey faces in gold foil very cute and then you've got the this is like a watercolor rainbow ombre pattern um and again you've got that like confetti mickey head style in the gold foil which is really pretty i can't believe that i forgot to include that in my simply watercolor co haul but it is what it is let's move on <laughs> Okay, so now on to the final order of the haul. So this particular order is from the lovely Anna of Planner Face. I adore her. I adore her shops. I love her studio vlogs. We have a bunch of stuff here to get through. So let me open everything and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the final order that I have for you guys today is from Planner Face, as I just mentioned. Um... I actually got a lot, so I'm I'm actually surprised because I had a bunch of kits just like sitting, chilling here, and I could have been using them all of this time. That's also not cool. I just noticed something very annoying with one of my items, but it's fine. It's whatever. Um, anyway, okay, so let's jump into it. So, of course, you get your cute little freebies. So the first freebie that we got from Planner Face is this gorgeous little box here. So you've got... Um, like a functional box, which actually goes with one of the kits that I purchased. So I'm very, very happy about that. Oh, hang on. No, I didn't read that. So it actually says, 
This box is misprinted on your kit. Sorry about that. Here's the correct one plus some extras. So I'm assuming that when I get to this kit, we, we can compare it. Um, but she's essentially replaced the full box and added on some extra things. So that's cute. So it is a freebie essentially, but it's to rectify an apparent oops. But we will check that out. So that is that. Then you get this gorgeous little like functional items box. So this is the thank you for your May order sampler or freebie. And then you get this gorgeous, gorgeous journaling card. I absolutely love this girl. She is so, so pretty. Um, so you've got her there and she's got like the tan or olive skin and brown hair and blue eyes. And if you flip it on over, you've got the dark skin, dark brown hair, blue eyes. Beautiful. Both of these girls are gorgeous. So that is just a journaling card. And again, depending on how you like to use your journaling cards, if you use them, you can use it as a divider. You can use it. I don't know, in your B6 or A5 or I don't know because I only use my coil bound planner. But yeah, she's stunning. So into, I might do the functional type items first. So these particular items you would have actually seen me using because I've needed them and I've wanted them for the longest time. And I've had this sitting there since May and it's now July. So I have used a couple of the items, which you will see, but... I picked up these cute little um, sprinkled glitter flags. So they're essentially just a long page flag. So again, depending on how you want to use them, you can layer stuff over them. You can use them functionally. You can use them like this way to block out some time, however you see fit. But I have been using them um, at the top of my planner spread. So for anyone who may not have seen my plan with me lately, what I am talking about is... Let me go to my plan with me I just filmed. So in that top corner there, you will see that I've used one of the page flags and then I put the like month script over the top and that is just to mark out the month. So again, you've got another one there, but I've been really, really enjoying that and bringing those into my spreads. That is literally the only reason I purchased them. And I think this was a small trend that started last year sometime. I don't remember who, I think it maybe even Anna started it. Um, but I've really, really enjoyed the look of it. And I decided to bite the bullet, so to speak, and purchase some flags. So I got the pastel variety and I think the rainbow variety. So as you can tell, the colorways are completely different. But you've got plenty of different options depending on how you want to use them. And as you can see, I've used the green for my Slytherin spread. I've used the black on, I think it was my sister-in-law's birthday spread. And I used the pink one uh, on the spread that I just showed you guys. But really, really enjoying using these at the moment. So I'm definitely going to be ordering some more of those. But that was the first thing I ordered. I then ordered these like layering, like watercolor splotches or dots or circles whatever you want to call them i haven't used them yet i've been good um but the idea of these is that they're literally oh there you go they're called paint splodges they're literally just a circle that you can bring into your spread you can add foil you can add an icon you can use it as like a backdrop a layering item i think i already said that but they're fun I purchased them. I haven't used them yet, but now that I've hauled this, I will definitely try and bring that into my spreads. I don't know how I'm going to go because I'm not a layering queen as yet. Maybe one day. But I picked those up. I then picked up some fun little coffee cups. I hadn't seen these before, and you guys know I'm a coffee addict, and I have like so, so many coffee stickers. So realistically, I, I didn't need these, but I liked the idea of the fact that they were patterned. So it looks as though you've got two of each pattern or design um, and they're just they're just a variety of colors and stuff. So if you're doing a floral spread, you know, you've got florals there. You've got some generic type coffee cups. You've got some bright coffee cups. Like there's just, they're fun. Okay, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> but I really, really liked the look of those. So I picked those up. Only one sheet. I um, restrained myself. I was, I was kind of good. And I just picked up one set. The next sort of items I got are some functional script type items, and I just, I really love the font of these. So, the first thing that I got was the dates, and I just, I love the font, like the number of the fonts. I do obviously like to foil my date headers, but sometimes you just need that extra, or you don't have a set, 
and you just want to pull in something real quick so that's what these are for and i just feel that they're a nice size nice font super super fun so i got those i then picked up the in my feelings script now all of these are on a white paper in a black font they are kiss cut of course so that is how they look um because i've just i've been having not as often as i was before but i've still been having a couple of rough days um so I wanted to pick these up so that when I am in my feelings, I've got something cute to like use. Instead of having to use my ugly, ugly handwriting, I have a script. And you've got the option of the like condensed or the like elongated version as well. So that works really well. I've then picked up the um, month scripts as well, as you guys just saw when I lay them. So from this sheet, you will see that I've been using those. Picked up two of those because I thought obviously it makes sense to have more. But I actually think that on one sheet there's enough for an entire month. But either way, really been enjoying those with those page flags. So I've picked up two of those. The next thing I picked up is the film very variant, I was going to say. And then I was going to say very as well. I don't know. Words are hard. Uh, but I picked up the film one as well. And again, you've got like the lowercase cursive and the uppercase, which is really cool. And again, YouTuber, planner, you know, we need these film scripts. So you can never have too many of those. And I really, really think these are a good like purchase. I don't remember how much they are. Um, hang on. So I think I picked them up for... So they're three, three pound. I don't know what that is in... Australian dollars but three pound and you get like all of these scripts so I don't know I just feel like it's worth it I also picked up the day off variety the migraine variety variety Jesus that means it's time for more coffee and food and to stop filming for the day <laughs> um but migraine I think I might also go back when I do my next order and get like a headache one as well because I touch wood I don't get a lot of migraines but when I do again I just wanted to have to have something to mark those but I do get a lot of headaches so I probably need to get the headache variety as well I don't know why I got this one um but I got the workout script no I do know because I need to start working out again you guys know if you've been watching my channel um I was really really good at the beginning of the year with like eating healthy working out most days of the week then I fell off the wagon and I haven't gotten back on, but I really, really need to. I've given myself some grace the last couple of weeks, particularly this week because it's the week after my birthday. My birthday was on Sunday. I think I said that earlier. Um, but this week is obviously still going to be a bit of like chill. I'm off, so I'm not pressuring myself to eat like super, super well. Um, but I do need to get back on that health wagon, so to speak, and working out. So that's what those are for. I then picked up the laundry variety, the work from home variety, because we are still working from home. We were actually meant to return to the office next week, two days a week, or like 80% of our shifts, but we are in lockdown because there has been an outbreak, so that is not the case. So I'm still working from home at this point, but I did grab two of those because obviously if you're using those five days a week, they're going to go pretty quickly. So I'll probably need to get more of those. And then the last two that I purchased, again, in the whole YouTube space was, of course, the upload and the edit varieties as well. So that is it for the scripts. Uh, okay, let's do the kits. So I've picked up, I think there's four kits here. So let me just quickly separate those. Yes. And I got them in two, I don't know, I don't remember doing it, but I think I got them in the two different, because I generally, when I'm shopping um, from Anna's store, I just usually go for her regular matte paper, because her matte paper is beautiful, and her stickers are still vibrant, even though they aren't on that, like, premium matte, you do have the option to add premium um, to your purchase, so that you can have the premium matte kits, um, but I opted to just go with the regular matte, and the format is still stunning. But one of the kits I did get in the premium, or it may even be the vinyl that she recently did. I'm not sure. But either way, it's beautiful. I love it. Let's go through the kits. 
So the first kit that I picked up is the Macchiato kit, which is beautiful. I just love the way that Anna has used this art and the fashion girls and us like I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, Kittenish Jess has beautiful, beautiful art. But these characters, or the characters, these fashion girls, stunning. And I just love, like, it's coffee. It's a neutral palette. It's kind of feminine without being too feminine. And this is that box that she was telling us is misprinted. But when I look at it, I, I don't, I, I literally don't, is it just, the like, the colour? Like, I honestly don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, yes, I do. There's no desk. So there's no desk there in the desk here. Okay. But otherwise, it's perfectly fine. Okay. So now that that's figured out, so this is your full box page. And then you've obviously got your little, like, clean to go to buy and to do checklist down the bottom. You then have your deco, your habit trackers, weekend banners, weekly trackers, your like um, appointment labels and your date headers. Your functional boxes, so you've got your half boxes, some quarter boxes, page flags, the white space checklist and some Bill Jew stickers. You then have some like check boxes, some glitter headers, some third boxes, some little things and headers. Some more quarter boxes. You then have your cute little icons, which I think are adorable. Like, I love them so, so much and the format of them. Uh, checklists. I don't know if I already said that. You've also got some skinny page flags down the bottom. You then have your bottom washi, the extra full box, some decorative washi. And then we are back to the start now. I don't... Oh, no, I did. So, I got the fashion girl add-on so again you've got the option of the different skin tones the different hair colors depending on what you want to use but i just realized i didn't get the glitter header add-on so i'm going to need to get that before i can use this kit unfortunately because you all know i have to have my glitter headers but that kit is beautiful love 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 that so again that is the macchiato kit the next kit that i purchased is the office goals kit now i think this might have been on sale or in like her last chance or discontinued section, but I just love the colors of this kit. It's, I don't know what it is, but it kind of screams autumn to me just because of the colorway, but at the same time, it could most definitely be spring because you've got the cute little florals there, the plants, obviously to each their own, but the colorway to me is definitely, definitely spring and those braids are beautiful. So again, this is in the same format, I believe. So I'm just gonna flick through. But these, oh, can we just talk about the colors, please? How beautiful are they? Like, look at that. It's like the perfect yellow, red, and like pink and orange. You know what? It's like a Starburst packet. <laughs> get rid of the orange, though. I mean, no. Get rid of the orange lolly, not the orange from this kit. Starburst. Red and pink are the best. Lemon, orange, goodbye. Don't want those. In this kit, we want it though. And again, I think with this kit, I don't think that I got the extra glitter headers. So I'm going to have to go back and have a look to see if they're available. I think when I checked out, they weren't available for this kit or the previous kit that I showed you guys. So I will have to check again. And oh my God, look at that bottom washi. I don't know what it is, but I think the biggest part of what draws me to Anna's store is the way that she uses the clip art like i don't know scribble prints is beautiful but i think anna uses her art better um and then again you've just got the different variety here so you've got the option of the different hair colored braids and you've got the different skin tone box as well although i don't know why i picked that up why do i pick that up when i was actually happy with the one in the kit i don't know don't ask me i'm a weirdo um, okay, and the next kit that I picked up was the Relax Kit, which is beautiful. Again, it's a very neutral, um, like, brown, nude, anytime type kit. Um, so you've got, <laughs> I love that, it says kitnish. <laughs> 
So you've got like your skincare, you've got some like fluffy blankets and fairy lights, you've got some like makeup or, oh, sorry, no, like paints. Um, this reminds me of The Sims. Just very chill anytime kit, which is really what I need because I don't have enough seasonal type kits and I tend to buy a lot of anytime kits. So it's always handy to have something that you can just like pull in whenever you want. And again, it's the same format, so we're just going to flick on through. The only thing that I feel like I don't necessarily like in Anna's kits is when she puts the art on the full boxes. So, like, that one is fine because I will literally use that as my Coffee Monday one. But, like, if you don't want to bring that stuff in, you would rather just have the plain boxes. That's the only... And again, it's only on this kit. The others do have the plain boxes. Um, but the fact that you've got deco on every one of these, I don't know about that. But either way, it's still a beautiful kit. Did I make up glitter headers for this kit as well? I'm an idiot. So this is an older format because as you can see, the icons have changed significantly. So you've now got, I'm trying to find, so you can see the comparison of the like clip art or the doodles. I definitely prefer the newer variety. But again, there's nothing wrong with these. Still the same format just the deco themselves changed and then you've got another full box you've got your bottom washi oh i did i'm clever okay so with this one i actually got the glitter headers go me um so glitter headers you've got some more boxes and some maybe smaller boxes and then we are back to the start so that was the relax kit and then the last kit that i got from anna oh my goodness my scalpel is running away is the pink sands kit and again i'm just drawn to the colors of this i don't know what it is i think it's like the orange with the blue and just like the ocean obviously i'm not going to be using this anytime soon because it definitely looks like a holiday kit hopefully i can holiday one time in the not too distant future but this is on the it's either premium matte it might be premium matte i'm not sure because i haven't bought premium matte for a long long time anyway these are your full boxes. Again, I think same format, so we'll just flick on through. Yeah, see, so with these boxes, she's only got the um, decorative pieces on two, which I like. Because then you have the option to kind of do what you want. definitely a newer format because you can tell by the doodle icons see i just love these colors together it's kind of retro-y but yeah i don't know i love that that scene is beautiful clever i got the good editors for this one <laughs> and then we are back to the start and then of course with this one i did get the add-ons as well but again I don't know why I did because she's very cute although I do really like the brunette just the fashion girls they're stunning so that was the last kit the last item that I got from Anna however was one of her reusable sticker albums now these are all of the rage at the moment and I still don't know if I'm committed because at the moment I saw my stickers in a binder but I know that a lot of people are gravitating towards putting their stickers in a reusable sticker book and keeping their stickers that way. So I bought this with the intentions of maybe trying that. But I'm also thinking that I might meet myself in the middle and I might have, like, keep my binder and then put a select few of each of my stickers in this book. So, for example, the first thing that I have in my um, binder is my coffee stickers. So on this page, I could put like a row of one set, second set, third set, so that I've still got variety to choose from. But instead of having to pull out and lug out my big binder all the time, whenever I need to plan, I, d I don't even necessarily then need to pull stickers if I don't want to, because I can just go, okay, I need a coffee sticker. Which one do I want? Which one matches the kit? And then, you know, I can have like food here and flat lays. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet. If not, I do know that I want to go through all of my kits and take all of the like extras that I know I will use out um, and put them in something like this. I do have a couple of these reusable sticker books though. Like I have a few of them lying around, so I don't know. I need to start using them for something. So maybe I'll trial 
the binder like taking stuff from the binder and putting it in here first and then that way when the sticker in my album is emptier then i'll reorder but until then like i'll just use whatever's in here it's probably a really good way of like using up your stickers as well i don't know maybe i have fomo maybe i just really loved this design i don't know but i got this and it's like a coil bound it is literally just full of um double-sided sticker paper so you can literally put your stickers on either side of the page and it will just like I said, you can store your stickers, you can store your leftovers, um, you can pre-pull your stickers. Like for me, I've been going through the other one that I use at the moment and I'll like pull out my stickers for a kit. So I'll have like the first week that I want to plan there and then the next week that I want to plan there. Multiple uses, but that's what I got. So nothing really else to show you. It is the same on the front and the back. It is like the thing that I love about Anna's albums and Anna's reusable albums is that they're like laminated so if you're like not that i do this but if you're like kind of just tossing it around it's not going to get damaged the papers if the paper gets wet or heaven forbid you spill your coffee or your drink on it while you're planning it's not going to get destroyed i mean this paper will but like this is protected so i love that but that was the last thing that i got from planner phase and that is the last thing that i have to haul for you guys so i'm going to lay everything out and i will be out I will be back with you guys in just a minute. That is it, you guys. I obviously don't have all of the tapes here because, <laughs> as you saw, there's quite a few of them. But there's all of the kits, all of the different stores that I have ordered from. I really, really hope you enjoyed this haul video. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. Not only does it support the channel, but it will mean that you are able to keep up to date with all of my hauls, all of my planner videos, uh, and just all of my content in general, as well as me as a person. Um, for anyone who has stayed this long and watched the whole haul, I really appreciate you. Thank you so, so much again for watching. Um, I will see you all in my next video, which will hopefully be very, very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.